Let's see how to add and manage your job workflows in Jobman. Scrolling down the user menu panel and click on the settings tab here. This will take you to the settings area. Next, scroll down to the bottom, click on open workflows. In this workflows page, you'll see all your current workflows that have been created for projects, leads and jobs. So you can either search or use the filter here to filter for your jobs. Click on the workflow you wish to open. This one here is the commercial builder. You can click up here on update to update the name of the workflow. You can save the changes or you can cancel to go back. You can set this as a default, which means your default workflow for all new jobs moving forward. You can copy the workflow. You can copy it to add more steps or it is the quickest way to actually copy and create a new workflow. Click on copy and it will copy this workflow for you. You can also delete the workflow if required. You can add new tasks to your existing tasks in here which are under your steps. Click on add a new task or you can click to update existing tasks. In here you can update the details of the task, task variations, task triggers, or you can delete the task. Click on the cross to return. Going back to workflows, you can create a new one from scratch. Click on create. Type in the name in the name field. For this example here, I'm going to use residential. In the item from the drop down box, you can click job and then click create to save. Now the new workflow is being created. I can add a new step or as many steps as I require. Once you click add new step, type in the name of the step. From the drop down menu underneath, you can assign the status required. Here's all the statuses currently in your software. Select the required status and click create. Add more steps. You can click on add new step and then follow the same process. Now let's look at adding a new task under this step. Click add new task. In the name field, put the name of the task that you require. Underneath here is an operation. So assigning the operation to this task from the drop down menu, best to search the operation first. If you don't have it, you can then add a new operation. I'm going to add this as a new operation as I don't have it in there. So clicking create will create this as a new oper operation. Then you can assign or adjust the staff quantity and the time time estimation. You can select hours or minutes, whatever is required. Target date calculation from the drop down menu here, you will have options available. Select the required option for your target date calculation. Requires, you can have it as all previous tasks or you can have selected. Underneath you got types, you can go all or selected. If you go selected, you can then choose the job types, either single or multiple options for those job types for this task to apply for moving forward. I'm going to change this back to all for this particular task. You can put in a description for the task and then click create. To add more tasks, you can then click on add more tasks underneath those steps and follow the same process. And this is how simple it is to add and edit your existing workflows in your Jobman software. Are you still requiring further assistance on this topic or any other topic in Jobman software? No problem at all. See here these help article links. Simply click on these at the top of the page and your questions will be answered on this topic or any other topic further in Jobman.